Sunday evening India time, which means Sunday morning USA time, we will be having a short discussion on the various activities which are being planned for the entire year. The Satyam Shatabdi Yoga Yag. Yag means a series of yajnas. Yajna is an activity wherein we offer something and that something is transformed. It generates a lot of energy. We nurture, nourish and assimilate that energy. And then we share it out, distribute it all over, thereby improving the quality in the world. So it is this yag, yajna, a series of yajnas, which is going to take place. The basis of that is yoga. And it is dedicated to Gurudev Swami Satyananda based on his teachings, how we can imbibe those teachings, make a difference in our life and then try to become tiny little LEDs so that we can try and sh remove the darkness around us. And when a hundred thousand LEDs come together, they will form a huge bright light. That light which will remove the darkness, the tamas which threatens to envelop the globe. Today, mankind, humankind is on the threshold of a decision it has to make. The last two, three years, the COVID pandemic is an indication of this crossroads we are upon. Humankind collectively has to make a decision which way it has to go ahead. And depending on the road we choose, further generations are going to walk that path in the same manner as three, four hundred years ago, humankind took a decision and moved in one direction. And the industrial revolution swept the entire globe and its impact is seen. In the same manner, now we stand at a greater threshold. Do we make a good choice or do we not? It is here that yoga can play a great role. Because yoga can bring out the light and bring in the strength to take the correct decision and direction. And if we can share it, then a hundred thousand lights together will enable humankind to make the correct decision. It is this effort that has begun. And I invite all of you to be a part of that in whichever degree and sense we can. Because as we become a part of it, the divine grace flows through us. Do not think, I can't do this. No. Instead, think, what can I do? We all know what I cannot do. But do we spend some time trying to think, what can I do? It might appear to be small. It might appear to be insignificant. But please remember that when the Setu of Sri Rama was being built, the big, big monkeys were taking the big boulders and throwing them. Sri Ram appreciated all of them. But he reserved the prize of his touch, immortal touch, only to the little squirrel who was just dropping little 
small bits of sand. What was that contribution? Perhaps insignificant. But what was not seen in quantity was seen in quality. And it was that was which Sri Ram connected to. It was only the squirrel that Sri Ram picked and gave her the blessing of his touch. So why can we not be that squirrel? We might be doing what we think is insignificant, but if we do it with all our heart, rest assured that the grace of divine will flow through us and transform us it is this opportunity that I extend to all of you. Let us meet tomorrow evening, Sunday evening, 7.30 IST, Indian time, to discuss what is being planned and how can we join in and take this light of yoga to the entire humanity and make a difference to the world as we know it and give a gift of positivity to the coming generations. Ariyom Patsat Namo Narayan.